okay when you open the router so this is for the power cord this one is for the port for the unify or internet service provider this all four LAN port is for the printers this is one this all is LAN the center orange color will blinking because means that there's no internet connection in order to access to this router to do the setting first turn it to the behind refer to the sticker so from here the Wi-Fi name is TP-Link 8F70 and for the password for the first time login is 9808-7297 so each of the stickers are different if in the future you want to reset this router you can, re you can press on this reset button so in your device in your Wi-Fi setting connect to this fill in the password in the once connected click on the I then here's the router copy the IP address copy then go to your browser then for the create login password we will set the standard which is ttag99000 ttag9900 like this same goes to here the first letter must be capital letter after that just click start click exit first you want to change the IP address go to network click on the LAN then change to 192.168.123.1 after that just click save just click OK then you need to reconnect the Wi-Fi again then click on the I this time, copy this IP address, it changed to 123.1, click copy and paste at your browser. Then log in the password which is ttag9900, just click login. Then go to wireless, go to wireless security, change the Wi-Fi password. So this is the default password and you change to ttag9900. After that, just click save then go to your wi-fi setting then connect again and it might need your reset password which is ttag 9900 just click join then copy the ip address and log in again then go to wireless so in under basic setting, change the Wi-Fi name, change to TTAC, then just click save. Then the Wi-Fi name will change to TTAC. Then log in again, copy the IP address, then go to the Safari and log in. Fill in the login password which is TTAC 9900. Then next, go to DHCP. For the start IP address, I will advise you start from 5 to 199 for the least time you can change to 2880 then just click save if you want to buy the device that connect to this router then go to DHCP click on address reservation click add new then for your device MAC address, you can refer to your Wi-Fi setting, click on the I, this is your MAC address. If you are using the iOS device, make sure you are turned off for the private Wi-Fi address and limit IP address. Then copy your MAC address, which is the Wi-Fi address, then paste on it. Here you can assign your IP address, depends by your own. For me, I will put it as 192.168.123.88. Then just click enable then just click save then restart your router and then restart your wi-fi setting in your device then connect to the ttac wi-fi click i as you can see that the ip address that router assigned to you will change to 192.166.123.88 that's all for today thank you so cari post system Cari aseng. 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 C